Hello, I'm Patrick Taylor, and in this video I'm going to be showing you some modifications I've been doing to my RepRap Huxley after I, uh, after I came back from my GCSE exams. So the first thing I noticed was that there were some, some sort of things a bit wrong with the, with the printer. Not, not terribly, just a little bit off. Uh, the first thing was the nylock nuts at the, um, on the Y axis. They had sort of loosened a bit, and the whole bed was a little bit too wobbly, quite a bit too wobbly, for good printing and so these had to be tightened and of course the bed had to be re-leveled again. Um, I also got round, finally, to adding the power connector bracket, the thing which allows you to plug in the printer nicely. Um, that was the very first thing I printed on the on this printer because it wasn't supplied with my kit, so I, I printed it off and didn't get around to adding it after that. In the last video, I think it was the last video, um, I showed you a time-lapse of me gluing a fan thing together which I printed off. Um, unfortunately the motor I bought for that broke. Well, I broke it. So I bought a new one. A proper fan. It'll probably work a lot better than the 3D printed solution anyway. Um, it's a fairly standard 40mm fan. Uh, it's a 12 volt fan which is a uh, bit of a problem seeing as the printer supplies 19 volts for its, from its uh, optional fan connector. Uh, after a bit of discussion on the RepRap forums this, this was alright because you can set the fan power in slicer at any rate uh, and this uses pulse width modulation to modulate the signal coming out of the or modulate the power coming out of the the fan connector so although there will be 19 volts going through the fan at some at some point it won't be 19 volts all the time although to be honest the fan might be able to cope with 19 volts anyway. Um, and so I, I designed a, a mount for this fan to go on the X carriage and the and a duct for it to blow air down towards the the hot end. There are already some designs available for this on Thingiverse, probably a lot better than mine. Um, so if you want them, you just do a quick search for that. I won't be uploading mine, it's probably not very good in comparison to those. But it does the job. I've had some pretty good results. Uh, the first comparison I did was uh, an owl head. I like these little owls. And um, this one is um, without the fan. Admittedly, before, I, I did get some fairly good results without the fan. Uh, that was when my printer, printer was really well calibrated. Um, but, but here you can see it's, it's a bit messed up. The head's kind of rubbish. The, the overhang on the beak there isn't great. Uh, but here we have the printed head with fan. And you can see... It's a lot better if my camera will focus. Uh, the the nose is really good, and the, the ears are a lot better. Hopefully next, I I'm I was thinking of adding some LEDs round round the printer to to illuminate the print a bit better. Now I've got the the fan mount in the way. I might not do that. I'm thinking of possibly even adding a little little camera. Um, just on the X carriage and a, a screen mounted somewhere on the wrap wrap so I can sort of see what's going on down there without having to bend down and get in there. But um yeah. That probably won't happen. In my next video hopefully I'll be talking about some uh some electroplating, in fact, three D prints. I've uh, got a bit of it ready here. Um I have a feeling it might not go so well, but yeah, you'll see that in the next video if I get around to doing it. So, till then, goodbye.